By the title of this video, you know where I am, but right away I'm going to shock you with the fact that you didn't know for sure. Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia, is the coldest capital on Earth. How crazy is that? But still, it's true. It's all because of the highly continental climate and steppes all over the country. Ulaanbaatar has warm summers and long, dry and very cold winters. This is Viera from Fiber Tours and we are in Mongolia. We start our exploration of the country with driving out of the capital city Ulan Bator or Ulan Batar, which translates from Mongolian as a red hero. Population of the capital is over 1.3 million people. The rest, 1.6 million people, are spread in the country, which total area is 600,000 miles. It makes Mongolia the most sparsely populated nation in the world, with only 4.3 people per square mile. But the destination for today is Terelch National Park. Terelch National Park is located 80 kilometers out of Ulaanbaatar. If you are an independent traveler, then there are public buses or taxis for you. But of course, most travelers use tour operators, and the trip from the city to the park will take around an hour and a half, as roads here in Mongolia is a challenge. Okay, so we arrived uh, in the Gur camp. The nature is absolutely amazing. Even though it's raining, it's such a rest um, for the eyes. Well, especially if you're a citizen. Uh, so we've got some time uh, till the tour starts. And tonight we stay at the Gur camp, as you can see. So I would like to show you uh, my yurt number 15. So let's get inside and uh, you will see how it looks like. Of course, this is a touristic yurt. The real one looks like way different. And uh, tomorrow when we visit, uh, the nomad family, we will have a chance to compare. So let's get in. Here it is, I come in. What do we have? Simple bed. Uh, the yurt is designed for two people. What else? A towel, of course, um, a mirror, even. Uh, then a table for you. And uh, the most important thing is this small chimney. I've already got my uh, mine on fire because, well, the weather is not <laughs> really promising. So uh, this way I will, it will be warm and nice inside. And they also put it on fire uh, closer to uh, night. So uh, it will be very comfortable to sleep. The Relge National Park is the one you most probably visit if you have only a couple of days in Mongolia and wish to see the nature. And that's what Mongolia is all about. Colorful and magnificent alpine scenery. The National Park area is very impressive, with massive rock formations set among scenic valleys and hills with the winding rivers and groves of trees. Our first stop at the Terelch National Park is the Turtle Rock. You know, these um, kind of national parks are usually um, very popular and full of different rock formations. And of course, it's all up to your imagination and what you see uh, here. Uh, but I'm planning to show you exactly this one because this 24 meter high uh, formation has become a symbol of this uh, national park. So let's take some pictures. We arrived at our second stop. Do you see a temple over there, the range? Uh, this is Ariyabal Meditation Temple. Uh, so we will walk there. Actually, we'll need also to climb over there. Not sure if my tourists are ready for that. Ha, ha, ha.
So while we walk, I will uh, tell you that this is a temple called Aryabal Meditation Temple. It's actually a very new one. It was like really recently built in 2008 or something like that. There are no monks, there are like no services or anything like that. This is just a meditation temple so people like locals can come and meditate. And of course, uh, it's a very good touristic spot, especially because when you get up there, there will be like an amazing panoramic view. So the distance uh, that we need to cover from the main gates to the temple is one kilometer. <sighs> <laughs> which is not that much uh, and then we also need to climb 108 steps uh, according to the Buddhist beats Well, this is a little bit scary. Only five people at the same time can be uh, on this bridge. <laughs> I hope there are not 10 behind me. Okay, so we are almost there. Almost there. We've done touring for today. I think today I had more oxygen than ever. Peace and serenity, as you can see, is around me. And I don't know, it seems like these are the kind of moments when you realize that you don't want to rush anywhere. I will see you tomorrow.